So those are AI ASMR videos and they are going completely viral across all platforms. And here are some channels which are doing really well and you can see that they are getting millions in terms of views. So in this video, I want to show you how to create these viral AI ASMR videos and just by following the steps, anyone is able to do it even if you're a complete beginner. Let's get started. So the first step is for us to create our AI images but you're going to need some prompts in order to be able to create these AI images. So I recommend using ChatGPT for you to get the prompts prompts and normally I would ask us to create the prompts together but we already have GPTs which have been created and they've been customized for the ASMR niche and I think those ones are actually excellent for you to create your prompts with. So once you log in into chat GPT go to where it says GPTs here and then in the search bar here we're going to type ASMR and you can see we have several GPTs here which can help us with our prompts. So I'm going to use this first one here. Yeah, so you can see we have some conversation starters here. So I'm going to use one of them so I can click on this apple red color. Yeah, and that automatically starts the prompt. So you can see we have the prompt for creating that uh, red apple there. And once you get the prompt, it's not static. You can make changes to it if you prefer. For example, I preferred to have a white glove uh, for my videos because in this prompt, it says a uh, black glove. So for mine, I want it to have a white glove. So I ask it to change the glove to white and the apple to green. And then it gives me a prompt for that. And at the end here, it asks me whether I want it to generate the image for me. So I say yes. And I also give it an aspect ratio. So this is the image that it generated. And you can see it looks pretty clean. And my glove is white. The apple is green and it is glass so that is really awesome it followed our request and then I asked it to give me five more fruit prompts so that I'm able to create more images from this and it gives me five prompts to create images with so I go to the very first one and then I paste it in the prompt area and this is the image that it generated for me and I did that with a few more prompts and these are the other images that I generated and then we have this one, which is a strawberry and the images were looking pretty awesome. So I went back to ChatGPT and I created uh, several more images. These ones were of vegetables. Yeah, so these are the images that I got. And now we can go into the second step of us starting to create the videos. For that, you're going to be using Kling and I'm also going to leave a link to sign up in the description down below. So once you're signed up and signed in into Kling, we're going to go to where it says video here and then click on where it says start because we want to add in a starting frame. So I'll just add in one of the images that I created using ChatGPT. So this one is going to be for the red bell pepper. And then we're going to go to the prompt section here. And this is important because I'm going to show you a pro tip here. So I'm just going to type in ASMR video of glass red bell pepper. Yeah, so you can type in uh, whatever description you want here. But then, and this is the pro tip, we're going to click on where it says DeepSeek. So DeepSeek is going to help us to get a better prompt by using the image that we have already uploaded. So you can see it is analyzed our image and then getting for us a prompt yeah and this is the prompt that it has gotten we're going to click on use prompts you can also see here it says sound effects now this is important because it means that the video we are going to generate is going to have a bit of sound effects in the negative prompt you can enter in whatever negative prompt you want to put you could say blah or you could uh, say blah you could say distorted whatever negative prompts and then we're going to generate this at five seconds and only one output click on generate yeah, so you can see the task has been submitted and once it's submitted, it's going to be at the very top. So you're just going to click on this here to view. Okay, so you can see our video is being generated. Okay, and we have our video here now. Let's listen to it. So I listened to that and I was not convinced about the sound that I had gotten. So I went to where it says AI sound here. So this is like a video to audio. And then I just asked it to generate another audio for me. So I got four of them. And then I listened to all four. Yeah. And I preferred the second one here. So I downloaded that video with the second audio. And then I went on to generate another video. Yeah, so I did the same thing that I had done earlier. I added in our image here and then I wanted to generate it also at five seconds. In the prompt area, I gave just a bit of description, just like we had done earlier. And then I asked DeepSeek to enhance the prompt for me. And this is what I got. So I just clicked on use prompts here. Yeah, and again in the negative area, I just added in blind distorted and then I asked it to generate our video. So this is what I got. Let's listen to it.
Yeah, so you can see the cutting motion and we can hear a bit of the cutting, but still we don't hear very much of glass, but I think it would still pass as ASMR. Yeah, and then I use the exact same process to create three more videos. Yeah, and then we have a cabbage. And here we have an onion. Now some people have been using Google's VO3 to generate these kind of videos, but the problem with that is that for most people, the cost is very high. So I suggest using Kling, and I did have to pay for it because when I tried out the free version, it took a really long time to generate the video, so I prefer to just pay for it. Yes, those are the videos that I got from Kling AI, and I think they're pretty decent, but I also wanted to try out Canva's new AI video with VO3, which is really awesome, and I'm going to leave a link for you to try out Canva in the description down below. Yeah, so once you're signed up, and sign it into Canva, go to where it says Canva AI here. You can also access it from here. And then we're going to click on create a video clip. Yeah, so I'm going to paste in one of the prompts we already got from ChatGPT. Okay, and then I'm going to choose an aspect ratio and also the duration of our video. Okay, so we're going to enter that. Yeah, so our video is ready now. Let's listen to it. Yeah, now that sounds more like glass. I think this is a pretty convincing ASMR video. Let's try out another prompt. Yeah, so this one is of the strawberry. Paste it here. Okay, let's see what that gives us. Yeah, so that is pretty convincing and I did try out two more prompts. Here is what I got for the video. So we have this one. And then we have this one of a wine glass. So let me know what you thought of the videos in the comments down below. So I'm going to do a more detailed video showing you exactly how to use the Canva AI video and some of the limitations they are. So ensure you look out for that and subscribe to the channel. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next one.